I don't really understand how, you know, when tensions are so high right now with what happened at Al-Aqsa, with, you know, people getting killed on both sides, that they think this is a great opportunity to march through the West Bank to a settlement that was been evicted, that's on Palestinian land. But of course, these deranged Israeli settlers, they don't care. You know, people want to blame Palestinians for not being peace. But the, these, this is reasons why there is a peace, because this is Palestinian land and these outposts shouldn't exist. That's why they don't exist. But these deranged Israeli settlers, they don't care. And they're going to march anyways. And they're going to, you know, try to reopen it, which is absolutely horrible. It's been evacuated numerous times, but they're still going there. And guess what? They're doing so under the protection of the Ismaili Israeli military. Of course, Palestinians were protesting and they were met with rubber bullets and tear gas. At least 115 Palestinians suffered from uh, gas inhalation and at least two uh, were injured from rubber bullets, including journalists, by the way. So much for uh, freedom of press.